Well, hello. I'm so glad I could be here today. I've been promising you this card, the 2468 card, and I am looking forward to showing you how to make it. I also want to remind you of one or two things before we get started on the card. Um, this is the month to redeem your coupons. You've earned them in July and we spend them in August and I don't want you to miss out on spending your coupons. And the really cool thing is, is when you're checking out there will be a place for coupons and you can go back to that email you received, copy and paste it right into the box so you don't have to retype all of those numbers and letters and making sure the case is correct on the letters. It makes it so much easier and you can do them all at once. No problem at all. Anyway, so that's an easy thing to do. The other thing I wanted to remind you of is the kit sale. All of the kits, the inclusive kits, not counting paper pumpkin, are on sale up to 30% off. So there are some that are less and there are some that are up at 30% off. So take a look at that on my online store because the kits are fun, especially if you're going on vacation and you want to take a little something to craft or you want to get together with friends for a coffee and a dessert and you want a little something to do. The kits are a lot of fun. And that takes us right down to my desktop. Oop, I guess it didn't. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. There we are. So this is a 2468 card. It opens. It's got a couple of little flaps here. And then the base of the card. The reason it's called a 2468 card is because you score it at 2 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches, and 8 inches. And I was going to score it with you, but <clears throat> I want to show you all the new stuff I've got. And I have got piles of stuff to my right. In fact, I barely have room to work. So this is going to go on the back. So just make sure it's straight when you're... Mine was not. Before you... Take your bone folder. I am right-handed, so this would be easier if I do this on the right side. I must have had my paper off just a little bit. But you can squinch these into shape. So there's the back. The next one folds over right here. That one looks correct burnish those folds and then this one folds first and then here. Now if you wanted to you could leave it like this and maybe I will do that but on the one I did is I glued my two sections together so they go like this but it does lose one of the things that I really like is I found a piece of paper. Oh, I didn't even tell you where it came from. That was rude of me. It is from the Masterfully Made Designer Series paper. Here we are. Lots of bright, pretty colors. And I used the 12 by 12 sheet with this design on each side. And what I did as I cut it in half, so this is 12 by 6, then I cut off, because you want 5 and a quarter, so I cut off 3 quarters of an inch. Um, you can cut half an inch here and a quarter of an inch at the top, however you want it to look. But it's got this one continuous design, which I really like, that look. The other paper I used, designer series paper, is the Distressed Gold paper, which is very pretty. I used that for the die cuts, as you will see on my little circles. You also need a piece of cardstock. It's one quarter piece of cardstock. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. And that is what you mount your fold on. And since we're going to leave this one open, because we wouldn't want to do exactly the same, would we? 
You'll notice that on the envelope, when I did this one, I didn't cut it down quite far enough. So I cut half an inch off and then I cut another quarter inch off. So I have it at the top and the bottom of my card, my envelope. Oh, and where are you going to write, you might ask? On the back. And I left it without a sentiment because it's always nice to add something um, when you're ready to send it off when you know what you need to say. Although it is a thank you card. Because I was a little short of thank you cards lately. So let me get my Seal Plus. Actually, I'm going to use my Tombow Blue. I'm doing quite well with the Seal Plus. She'll be glad to have the update. I think it is just doing fine. And But I'm going to do this because I want a little wiggle room. And I'm going to center this. I just put my finger in the glue. That is a very messy thing to do. So there we are. Finish that down. Get that glue off my fingers. And we are ready to decorate. But this is such an easy, easy card to do, to make. So, I have cut two circles with my stylish shape die. And I believe it is, let's double check, yep, it is the second largest. I love the stitching on it. It just makes me happy. And again, I use the designer series paper from, you see, the bright and beautiful colors. I just used the, the more subtle side. So I'm going to decorate these before we put them on. I am going to stamp directly on the designer series paper. And I've got the thanks from the artistically inked stamp set. This is one of those sets that carried over, so it's no longer available as a bundle with that 10% savings. But it's a great set. I really like it. Set that aside and I'll cover this up because that is all the stamping I'm doing today. I use the dies and the gold distressed paper and I cut out the big flower and then I just trimmed it down to size and I cut out some leaves. Okay, so there's that. I have my envelope handy. I have a strip of cardstock that I'm going to put on the bottom of the envelope. I have a strip of cardstock that's going on the side of my uh, layer for the back to write on for my sentiment. So we'll move those aside. I also have the gold shimmer ribbon that I'm going to use for a bow. Let's go ahead and now I'm going to tell you that if I had been a little bit more organized or thought it through or it wasn't late at night when I came up with this idea, I might have used the ever wonderful adhesive sheets, but I did not, so I am just going to do, do some dots of glue here and there, because it's going to be fine, but adhesive sheets would have been so much easier. One of the things you can do when you're using uh, just dots and you don't really want to make a mess is you could put them on first and then let them sit because those dots become glue dots. You've noticed that our adhesive stays just a little bit sticky after it's done. So on this one, we're going to put this right here and just tap it lightly. We didn't make a mess this time. Yay! And I'm going to put the leaves on 
This one is still stuck together. Very nice. That will make it easy. I am just going to dot a little glue on the bottom. Not too high up. And I'm going to put this across the top. And these I'm going to put at the bottom. So again, I will, it's a bit much, just a little glue. It holds really well. So, and if you're using glue and you might make a mess, may I recommend the silicone mat because glue does not stick to it. As a matter of fact, if you get glue on it, you just kind of rub it and it pretty much comes off once it's dried. And if it gets a little messy all over like mine, you can wash it in a little soap and water. And we will just cross those a little bit. Put this one on. I actually think I could have done just one drop of glue right at the tip. And there we go. We are almost done with this card. Can you believe it? This is the tricky spot is you want to put it on, line it up where you want it, flip it over, and that's when you can give it either a little glue or a little bit of seal or seal plus so that you have your glue confined to this side where it's adhering to the paper. You don't want glue on the other side. Yay, we did it. And our other one is going right here. I'll flip it over. Oh, that's pretty easy. See, there's a line right there. I'm feeling pretty good about using a little seal plus on that one. And turning it over. And there we are. Kind of overlapped them a little bit. And for a little decoration, we have again the the gold ribbon, and all I did was tied it in a knot. And this can be done, you can use any designer series paper, any sentiments, whatever you like. I think it's just a very fun, fun fold. And I'm going to grab a glue dot. You know, I told you that my cat Olivia is a naughty kitty. Well, she took, once again, my glue dots out into the bedroom. And I found them in the middle of the bedroom floor, but I didn't find any glue dots on anything which is good. So I suppose I'm going to, the next one I take out, I'm going to keep it in its box and open the box up so it'll come out of the box. Because obviously they can't live where they're at. Except it does make her happy and she enjoys it. So I hate to take away her joy. I just don't want any more messes. There's our card. We'll put the back on. Let me just line this up. Trim it. And then we'll put it on our back. Lots of room to write a nice note. Making sure everything is right side up. And there we are.
and I'm going to put this on the bottom with a little bit of Tombow glue because it needs it. Even though I put non-machinable stamps on it, I know it goes through machines. And I do not want to clog be the reason that a machine at the post office clogs up. But there we are. Our card is done. Yay! And I do like that I can see the whole pattern as it goes across. So this one's going to stay unadhered. And this one will have pages to turn. So isn't that fun and easy? So I hope you try the fun folk. If you do, I'd love to see what you make. Now, I'm going to just set this stuff all aside. I forgot something. Let me bring that back. It needs just a little bit of bling. And because We've got some height here. I'm going to put them on this side so it doesn't cause a bump in the card. So here's my take your pick tool. I'm getting just a little bit more putty out. Then I backed off on the pressure. And you can just pull these out. We'll use a big large one there and maybe a small one up here. And I think because these are small and not too sticking out, maybe I could put one right here. Because that gives us our triangle shape, which is always pleasing to the eye. And there we are. Now it's done. Now I will put all the supplies away because I have this huge amount of stuff I want to show you. Because I don't know if you remember, but I got a little carried away with my order. I had those wonderful coupons, which I love to use. Okay. Getting things put away so I can bring them out. So here we are. Instead of a picture of the mini catalog, I get to show you the the front, the real life catalog. It was so nice to look through it. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. If you need a catalog and you're not working with another demonstrator, I would love to put one in the mail for you. Just contact me. Um, you can leave a message on this video or you could uh, send me a personal message and I would we'll get that out to you. So this is the first thing I bought. It just struck me as when I first saw it on the PDF as something I would absolutely love because I like fall and I like fall colors. It's on pages 42 through 44 of the mini catalog and it's the autumn leaves. And it says, I'm thankful with a grateful heart. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. And so when you said, I'm thankful, you can do for all you do today and every day to have you as a friend. So it's, I just think it's fun. And it has dies. It has dies that fit the leaves there. But there's also dies that do other things. I haven't played with them yet. I haven't cut anything out. But we've got some a little dies for the sentiments. And I'm anxious to play with it. I want to know if these two just emboss or if they cut. I don't think they cut. I think they emboss. But I am excited. And here's the set. The sweet, which of course, as you know, I'm a sucker for sweets, has beautiful paper. Not only are the photorealistic on the front, so you've got these beautiful photos. Fall photos. I guess it would help if I put it the right way. And there's four of each sheet. And there are many, many sheets. Fall's a good time to read. Beautiful colors, but if you turn it over, so I'll just flip through this way first. 
Maybe you can see some photos that I didn't. Okay, that's in my way. Get rid of the box. Excellent idea. Now I can flip easier. A little wood grain. Pumpkins and squash. There's the books. Leaves. This is the first time I'm looking at it too, so it's exciting. A little leather upholstery. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. And a close-up of books. If you turn it over. Now, as much as I love that side, you know I love shiny things. And there's shiny things on the back. It's specialty paper on the back. We've got it's got gold highlights. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those shapes. Hmm. This one, Inked and Tiled has two die cuts, and they are those two shapes and fit together nicely. So you could coordinate with that. It's just beautiful. So I love this paper. That's not all though. This suite also comes with, let's see, with this beautiful paper. Now it is white on the, on the other side, but you've got two sheets of each with the gold and the different two different colors. I think, I'm not sure the color. I don't remember. Copper and Pretty Peacock. So this is the Pretty Peacock and the pinky one was the copper. Anyway, gorgeous. But we're not done yet. This suite also comes with and get this out of the way. Ribbon. It's a copper and natural trim. Oh my goodness. Should obviously have taken these out first. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful copper. As you know, or as you may have noticed, when I'm using ribbon, I take off this plastic piece because it bothers me and I cut a piece of the ribbon and I tie a bow and that keeps it all together but isn't that pretty and it is thin I love that and this one is like a linen and it's wider but probably won't use it for a bow because it'd be a little thick, but I might use it as an accent under a sentiment. And one of the things I like to do is when I, I have extra cards, I put them together and I tie a ribbon around it and give them away. So I might use some of it for that with a copper accent, of course. So that is the suite. That's one suite I bought. The other suite I bought is called, that doesn't go there, Magical Metal. And I am anxious. Oh, this is on pages 36 through 38. Maybe I'll keep those little homemade flags. It's got so much to look at these. These are going to be beautiful, cut out of distressed paper or that, that distressed gold. This embosses snowflakes. I haven't put it together. But here are the stamps. Those look pomegranates. The sentiments say, the colder weather brings us together. May this season of sparkle bring joy and delight and winter wishes. And so I didn't get any Christmas or holiday sentiments standards because I don't celebrate the holidays. 
but I love winter and I love autumn, so I'm thrilled. Comes with gems, and it looks like, let me pull this out because there's three colors of gems here. And it's just the one of the colors hides underneath the label. So you've got kind of a darker gray, a clear, and this very pretty color, which is, which is, let me, let me just, let me look. I believe Lost Lagoon. So that would be maybe Green Granite. I'll have to double check. It does say in the catalog. I love sparkle and the ribbon has sparkle. It goes with this sweet. We've had one similar to this. I think this is a little different finish though. It's very, got that lovely silver sparkle on the end. Let me bring that up. And it feels meshy, like a very thin mesh. Let's see what it's actually called. It's called sheer ribbon, but it is very pretty. When I first saw it, I thought it might be white, but it is not. And then it comes with designer series paper, two designer series papers. We've got another specialty paper, which is called Snowflake Magic and it's Lost Lagoon. So this is kind of a, the snowflakes are very sparkly. The background is muted. We've got a white and silver. And then look at this one. This is white snowflakes. Won't that be beautiful for a, a night background? Let's see if I might try not to get too much of lights reflecting on it, but I did get some. And that's not all. This suite also has When I saw this, I knew that this paper had to be in my life. Isn't it gorgeous? And again, I haven't seen the whole thing. Oh, I got a couple of the others. The first of the specialty paper. I wasn't sure what I'm going to do with it, but it was so pretty. Good news. I managed to get it open without giving myself a paper cut. I should get points for that, by the way. So here's this beautiful paper. This is called, let me look, Winter Wonder. No, Winter Meadow. I don't read upside down very well. And then on the back, we've got a beautiful night sky scene, I think. Very pretty. This is one of those papers, I love these, where you can cut them in half, cut off, well, I would probably cut it at five and a quarter on each side, and then four, four, four and eight, so you've got six card fronts, ready-made. And the reverse side kind of looks like clouds, clouds on a snowy day pomegranates, which are cute, and another background. Okay, pomegranates don't do a lot for me, but they're cute. Ooh, winter. Can you see this with maybe a little deer walking across it on the card? It is gorgeous. And a lighter gray background. And then we have, this is pretty. The Lost Lagoon, we've got a little, that blueberry bushel. Let me, let me pull out the cheat sheet. Basic black, blueberry bushel, 
Garden Green, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Moody Mauve, Pebble Path, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Smoky Slate. So you all knew that on the back of the card, um, the backer, it lists the colors that coordinate with it on our design series paper. It's a good thing. Ooh, I like that too. And the last one is trees. I did notice that there are a lot of trees in this mini catalog. And the Lost Lagoon background. So that is the suite. I love it. Let's put all of this away. And then there were things, because as I said, I don't celebrate Christmas. So there were other things that I found that they were in the Christmas suites. I didn't get the suite. I got bits and pieces. So isn't this is on page 54. Isn't that going to be great for sentiments? It's called the Modern Oval Punch. These are speckled, they're called adhesive backed speckled dots, which I thought would be fun. There's an embossing folder on page 43, and it is called the Distressed Tile 3D Embossing Folder. So there are supposed to be spaces where it doesn't emboss quite as, as well as it, it leaves distressed spaces. The Deckled Circles, this is quite a set. Look how huge the first couple three dies are. It's on page 63. It would be easy to miss because it's not part of a suite. Um, the one thing I did miss, there's some decorative masks that I missed. And so I have to go, hell, I have a wish list started. This ribbon is an iridescent ribbon and it's on page five. It was part of one of the suites. And isn't that pretty? It was also part of a suite on page 15. This is the Knight of Navy and Gold. Lovely combination. Then I got a couple stamp sets that weren't suites or bundles. I've got uh, the Graceful Deer background stamp. It's on page 27. I love trees, and I said there were a lot of trees in this one. This is Fragrant Forest. It's a background stamp. It's on page 27 also. On page 47, there is a cling stamp set called So Sincere. It's just beautiful. Um, for one thing, I really, one of my favorites is having printing and script. And that, this one does that. It says, so very proud of you, so thankful for you. It does have a vertical happy birthday sentiment. Your kindness is so appreciated. Knowing you brings joy to my heart. Now that is a lovely sentiment to send. Just love spending time with you. Be grateful for what you have. Be proud of who you are. Everyone could be just a little bit um, encouraged by that. Hope your day is a happy one. Ah, uh, get well. Hope you're feeling better soon. You're in my heart and prayers just for you. And this is one of the million dollar stamp sets. When Stampin' Up! demonstrators sell a million dollars, have a million dollars in sales, they get to design to go to the headquarters and design a stamp set. And this one is Sandy Hancock, the million dollar achiever. And then I bought two well, actually, I got this one for half price. No. I got this one with my reward points. And this one I bought because, again, it's a forest. It's got trees, and it's got snowdrifts, and little rocks, and lots of trees. I'm anxious to play with this. There's something about trees. But I also like owls. We have owls out here. We can hear them at night. And one day it was it was so amazing. I was driving home and I looked to my right across the field and there was a big white owl fly, just gliding right next to me. We looked at each other and then went our ways. But it was just, it was a lovely feeling. 
So winter owls, sentiments are, may you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of this season. And winter is a season. Sending love and warm wishes. But I just thought that was lovely. And it's got a flying owl that you can cut out with white with wings that are that you can add on so I just thought that was very pretty and the one other set I didn't get on my pre-order but I, I got it demonstrators were able to have a demonstrator only event that Stampin' Up! put on and I attended and we were able to buy this set early so this one I have cards to show you. It's uh, translucent florals on page 56. It has lovely dyes. And it has been used. So here we did two cards of each style. One was one was a little more on the avid side, one a little simpler. But we used we colored vellum, our vellum cardstock. And I just thought this was so pretty. This was a specialty vellum that we have. It had little polka dots in it. So I liked that one. I liked them all, honestly. With this one, we used, we cut out a leaf and used it as a mask and put leaves on our card with the paste. So this is the more avid. And this was the simpler one where we just stamped. So that was fun to do. And this one was such fun. We um, just stamped on this one with the translucent and here we colored vellum and cut them out. And I made a little mess with my, my coloring and so I splotched it up a little bit, which I like. Because, as we know, this is stamping. There are no mistakes in stamping. Just opportunities to embellish and be creative. And that takes me to the... Oh, that does not take me to the end. I'm almost to the end. I decided to participate in a product share. And when my friend Sarah Evo was put it together and I sent her my money and got my, so I've got a little bit of everything. Every, all of the papers I have a half sheet of. And even though some on the Christmas on one side, they're really more plain on the other side. So I could see using those. This is the bear scent set. And besides being very cute, there's a punch that, that punches out that bear. Night skies. This is very pretty. This is a specialty paper called Joyful. And this is one that I that I would have I guess I didn't notice. I would have purchased because having notes is always nice. Then a walk in the forest, another bear set. Pine cones, that's pretty. This is the winter meadow that I showed you. So now I've got one and a half packs. The snowflake magic, which I have. This is a Christmas set. And I think that pretty much, well, that one doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. It's hard in the catalog to see them. I like plaid. I like notes. So I can see getting use out of this, especially the second side. There's the oxidized copper specialty paper. Merry, bold, and bright is pretty much Christmas on one side, but it also has a side that is more, um, that can be used all year round. The Halloween paper is truly not something that I celebrate either, and I probably won't use either side of it, but I wanted to see what it looked like. And now I have. And the specialty foil, the, the green and the red. Granny Apple Green and Melon Mambo for the colors. Then there's a specialty paper, which I won't use 
I might use it glow in the dark. I'm not sure what I'll do it with, but it's white with a green hue. That will be interesting. The garden walk is pretty, and I didn't realize it was going. It was that pretty. I might have ordered some. You saw all about autumn. Shining brightly has gold accents. And the back is white. Sometimes when you've got specialty paper, specialty on one side and something else on a pattern on the other, like the autumn one, it's hard to decide which one you're going to use. These are little treat boxes. She sent me a sampling of treat boxes. So those will be fun to decorate. And a gift card envelope, which is fun. And she sent a cute little card as a thank you, which I thought was so sweet. Well, that takes me to the end of what I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed the 2468 um, card that we made. And sneak peek of my new fun things to play with. I'm so excited. Anyway, until I see you again, happy crafting.